Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you how to do a KWHLAQ chart. Okay, so what does it do? Okay, first of all, it helps us to um, find out what we need to find out about um, the topic. Okay, in this case, our research topic. Okay, so uh, for K, it stands for what do I know? Okay, and then um, W stands for what I want to know. And Okay, uh, H stands for how do I want to find out all this information that I want to know. Okay, and then after that, you have this L stands for learning. Okay, what I have I learned from this research? And then A stands for how can I apply what I have learned to this research? And then we have also um, Q, the last one, which is what are the new questions after I research? What are the new questions that I come up with? Okay, for example, in this case, okay, first one, okay, bullying is, uh, okay, let's say the topic is about bullying, okay, so uh, what do I know? Okay, I know maybe bullying is unacceptable, okay, so uh, what I want to know, okay, maybe I want to know all the different type of, or different forms of bullying, okay, so how can I find out? Maybe I can actually search uh, from the internet, or maybe ask my CCE teacher or any other teacher, okay? And then uh, after I do my research, okay, this is what I learned, okay, from going through the internet and, and asking my teacher, this is like bullying is aggressive behavior that involves a real or perceived power imbalance, okay? The behavior has a potential to repeat over time. Okay, this is what I, I find out from my teacher and from the internet. Okay, so how would I apply this? Okay, I maybe I will gather more information and then um maybe apply what I know in a in a maybe a script for a play. Okay, so after I do this, uh, is there any new questions that I can come up with? Okay, maybe I want to find out. Okay, uh, does bullying occur in my school? Or is it, is it more common among older pupils? Okay, so, okay, now it's your turn to do your KWH LAQ chart. See you.